but it's just beautiful and no threat of rain. In fact, I think we're going to get through the entire weekend without any precipitation. Of course, I'm not a weatherman, so don't hold me to that. Real Wild, though, out for his match here. Real Wild of the United States. Of course, one of the great, great, great decorated archers in the history of this sport. Real, 42 years young, fourth in the world, averaging 9.6 per shot. 137 victories and 80% win percentage. Sherry, his wife, a big part of that, cheering him on in the coach's box. Rio's won 11 shootouts in his career, and he'll be pressed today by an up-and-comer from Turkey. This is Evren Chahuran from Turkey. 23 years old, 16th in the world, averaging 9.5 per arrow. Has 23 wins in his career, five tiebreaker victories. And he has been a young man on the come for a little bit of time now. A year ago in Copenhagen, his last time here in Denmark, Cha Iran was uh, 57th at the World Championships. Then in Turkey at the Indoor World Championships last February, he finished 17th in Ankara. Then went to Antalya. And on Coney Alti Beach this summer at stage three, he captured his first World Cup medal, and it was a big one, a gold medal in a victory over his fellow countryman, Samet Kanyakali. So Rio Wild and Evren Chaharan. I must say, try to have a look on the stabilization on Rio's bow. He is probably the one and only that can shoot that heavy. It is amazing. I tried to lift his bow. Look at the difference on the front stab. It's Often. one third what the Turkish shooting against now, yeah. Rios. It's amazing. But it holds. And the wind can hardly move it. Ten seconds. Oh, it could move it a little bit. A little bit. <laughs> we'll talk about weight after this first end. Kind of an interesting yeah, side. And all of a sudden, Chaharan grabs a one point lead with back to back tens. This is the second men's Ten. match of the day on yeah. Compound Saturday in Rio with a strong opening 29 score. Only missing a little bit on that uh, second arrow. Nine. And it matters not because the nine by Chaharan ties it up at 29 apiece. So 29 all after the opening end of uh, this match between Real Wild and Evren Chaharan. Getting back to weight, Real Wild lost a, a lot of weight about a year and a half ago. He really went on a big diet and slimmed down and looked great. Looked like, a, looked like he could become a male model. But then he added some weight back on and he said it was because, you know, he just needed something to, you know, balance himself, stabilize himself a little bit more. He thought he got a little bit too light. Yeah. Um, I don't know if you can get too light, but for real... Uh, I know in our situation, yes, personally, I know I can't get too light. I'm also glad that round is a shape. Um, but for Rio, uh, as long as i know known Rio, he's been... Sorry, Rio, a little bit chubby, and uh, it works for him. So when he puts off a lot of weight, uh, uh, takes off a lot of weight on his body, that will influence the whole setup, uh, uh, the whole way he is standing and holding the bow. And, and maybe he found out that it was good to lose weight, but he lost a little bit of his confidence and uh, stability. Uh, uh, that's the word I was looking Ten. for. I don't think he felt as stable as he, he did yeah. carrying yeah. a few more yeah. pounds. Yeah. And, and maybe it's because that he's been shooting that way for so long. That's the way he's been practicing. That's the way he's been used to set up his bows. Mm -hmm. That's the way he's in his mind when the wind blows. Well, that feels like this on this body, Ten. you change the body, it does influence the rest of your archery. It is the norm for him. So is shooting tens. Yeah. Um, there was another uh, American, Dave Cousin, mm -hmm. who lost a lot of weight over a year. And all of a sudden, I think it took Dave about a year or maybe a year and a half to get back on his level. And 
he he managed, yeah. but maybe Ryu just realized it didn't work for him. So five held it a long time. Look at that group. Look at that group. Wow. Yeah, that's a nice one. And again, he's shooting the top of the ten. So if he gets a little bit lazy on the on the release on the bow arm, it can drop a little bit, and he'll still get the points. And he moves ahead by one point over Evan Chahavan from Turkey, who doesn't seem to be intimidated at all. You see the, these young archers coming along, and uh, you know competing against. I'm sure Rio Wild is somebody he looked up to, and and Rio, of course. I don't think it's it's I don't too think much of a stretch to say that he's a legend in this sport. I don't think there's a lot of archers <laughs> that has watched a movie with Rio or <laughs> been sitting on the uh, sideline and watched how he does it and watched him practice to try to steal some ideas and everybody knows Rio and, and he's a great guy too. That's for sure. But they're not intimidated but and they're not in awe and they're coming right after him. I, I think they are. You think so? Before they get on the stage. And then when they're there? When they're there, they, they make their in. mind up and they they try to look at it as, this is my lane, I'm shooting lane two. Some of them will think, thank God I'm right-handed so uh, I'm turning my back to him. Mm -hmm. uh, but, but normally you try to step into your phone books mm -hmm. and, and close the door. <laughs> and be in your own little world. Be in your own little world. You got your own lane. You got your own target. And hey, there's no difference. 50 meters here or 50 meters in Turkey. It's still 50 meters. And that's what we try to to do all the time. Just what you're doing back home in practice. Charan with a nine to open up this third end. And Rio, did he catch the line? It's going to be a close call for those officials. So far, no asterisk put there by his score. So that may stand as a nine. And let's see where that arrow ended up in the ten ring. Everin. Hoping he'll be tied after this shot by Rio Wild. And Rio hoping he'll still up, be up by one. Five, four. Getting the count from his wife, Sherry, in the coach's box, and Rio responds and maintains that slim one-point edge. Pressure still being applied, but Chaharan. Ten. Yeah. <laughs> nice shooting. So... Now they do have the asterisk by that nine, that first shot by Real Wild. It could conceivably be the trifecta of tens. I think the judges turned it out, yeah. So they did call it a nine. They did call it a nine. All right. So that makes things a little bit more interesting. And here you've got the judge looking at it. From all and angles. The rules are you should look at it from two angles, and uh, it's a magnifier. But if we look close, you can see it didn't. There's yellow between the yeah. arrow and the black line. There's the a little bit of line. daylight there. Yeah. Good call by our officials from World Archery. Rio with that style he uses, almost leaning back. Yeah. yeah. Leaning back in his easy chair. That's also real style. Yes. It can be hard for your back for if you're a new archer and you want to shoot like Rio does because all that weight is not possible. And then you lean back and you might hurt your back. So, <laughs> but Rio might look chubby, but he's strong, strong. as an ox. <laughs> Tell you that. Country strong. Oh yeah. And he still leads by one. Almost had three straight tens in that end. But settles for a one-point advantage. 88-87. It was tied at 29 after the first end. Rio put a little daylight between himself and Evren Shaharan in the second end. And then maintained in the third end. Six more arrows to go. I think that one is out. 
Büyük ihtimal oluyor Eva. Sorayım. 10 seconds. 9. Haydi bakalım. Çizgi niye bu? Kullan zamanı, güven so kendine. So an opportunity Kullan gone by the wayside that time for Rio Wild who could have bumped his lead up to Nine. two. But oh. still could. Yep. Right here. Çok az aşağı As the mi? Turkish archer gives him an opportunity. Ten. Can Rio cash in? Yes. Yeah, he did. Lead goes to two. Battling back. If Rio falters, it could be a one point match. It could be tied. Five. It is a one-point match. It looks like he's struggling a little bit by getting his timing right. Usually shooting when there's between five and ten seconds to go on the clock. So he's not letting it wind down until it's just about to run out. Team Wild from Pocatello, Idaho. And now the fifth end coming up as we get set for that. The Honey Badger, what a career he has had. And a good season that he's had. Finished 17th at stage one in Shanghai, was eighth at Coney Alti Beach in Antalya, but between those two events, picked up the silver medal in Medellin in Colombia at stage two. On what was our final visit to Medellin, want to thank the great organizing committee down there, the wonderful people of Colombia, who for four years made our visits to Medellin so memorable. When I get a vacation, if I ever get a vacation again, <laughs> I'm going back to Medellin. Yeah, it's a beautiful place. Oh, beautiful place. Oh, yeah. And now, Udense is on my list as well. Oh. Must give credit to the Colombians. They really did something beautiful with Medellin. Mm -hmm. Aha, a pair of nines. Nine for each archer on the first shot of the fifth end. It's still anybody's match with two arrows to go, and Everett making a bid with that 10. Good, strong shot. See if Rio listens to wife Sherry. Ooh, kind of whipped it there at the end, but he got it to stay in the 10 range. Yeah. <laughs> He's got marching orders. Oh, uh, so Elma Achla with a nine. And that's what Rio Wild needs to move on to the next round. The wind starts to pick up just a little bit. Oh, kept it in the nine ring. Just what he needed. <laughs> just that close. If it had gone just a little bit higher, we might have had our first shoot off of the day. As it is, Real Wild is able to eke out a one point win over Evren Sha'aran of Turkey. <laughs> the determined look on the face of the youngster from Turkey, just 23 years old, taking on the 42 year old legend, Rio Wild. And winning never gets old. And it's always, I'm not sure you say it's fun. I think it's a, it's a relief. Don't you think it's, it's for a lot of people, it's almost a relief.